Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Braden Daly and I'm the secretary of Eduvape. So my job is to essentially keep our social media up to date and uh, just work with like the technology associated with our project. So I want to start off the video with a quick shout out to my boy Omar. Um, just thanks for supporting us so far and um, it means a lot to us and we hope to see more people supporting us in the future. Uh, thanks again, bro. Anyway, uh, I hope everyone's staying healthy and safe in these hectic times. And uh, in this video, Dylan, Arv, and I are going to be talking about um, some ways that you can keep yourself entertained um, during quarantine. Because I'm sure everyone's running out of ideas to uh, keep themselves busy. And uh, I'm sure the boredom is getting to some people. It's getting to me. Alright, so the first thing you can really do is just like strike a conversation with your parents or your siblings if you have any siblings because I know for me like I play club soccer and like everyone's got school and like extracurriculars and um, with all that in mind like in the past it's been pretty difficult especially for me and I'm sure with other people too like to have family time and just to like sit down and just talk with your family or hang out with them so during this quarantine it's really a great time to take advantage of like all the free time you get just being stuck in the house with your family and like one way to just keep yourself entertained and like get to know your family better is just talk with them you know talk with them about how your day has been how their day has been going you know about some some of your struggles you know it doesn't as long as long as you like just get to know them better and just hang out with them you'll create a lot more memories with them and and especially during this time with all the extra free time you have it's a great way to like take advantage of that so I recommend th doing that to like keep yourself entertained and just to get to know your family better. Another thing you could do with your family is even just like go out on a walk. Like I have a dog. If you have like a pet that like you want to go out and take for a walk or even if you just want to go with your siblings, you can just go outside and just hang out with them, play some sports with them, play video games with them, do whatever. Just like hang out with your family because like stay safe and um, just hope you guys have a great summer. Um... And uh, for those who, like, I'm pretty sure everyone's finished up with APs. I hope you all did well on those. And uh, I'm going to hand this over to Arv. Uh, talk to you guys later. Hey, guys. My name is Arv Patel, and I'm the treasurer for Eshvate. Basically, I keep track of our money through multiple budgets, and I make all the payments. Similarly to what Braden said, I would strongly advise not going outside right now. Even though some states are starting to loosen their restrictions, President Trump just released new guidelines for opening up America, which are supported by his health expert. On this page, Trump tells states not to reopen unless there is a proven 14-day downward trajectory in symptoms and cases. So again, we really do recommend you stay at your home for your sake and for the safety of others. So now, with all this new free time in quarantine, another thing you can do at home is find new hobbies and side hustles. Like, for example, if you've always been wanting to learn a new instrument, that would be the perfect time. On another note, majority of side hustlers in America make anywhere between 0 to $500 just based on their side hustle. And that's according to a survey done by Dollar Sprout. Say you start selling clothes, maybe 10 per week, and you sell each article of clothing for 7 to $10 each. That's an easy $70 to $100 just right there. But that's enough about money. I'll send it over to Dylan. The third and final thing that you should be doing is creating a daily schedule for yourself through the use of a planner or a calendar. Now, I am not saying that you should follow this schedule second by second, but sticking to it will create a routine. A steady routine creates good habits, and good habits produce good results. And all this starts from a simple schedule. Take one of our found founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin, as an example. He followed a simple yet ingenious work plan to get all the things he wanted to get done in a day. Now if you look at his work schedule, the chunks labeled work are unspecific, and therefore it will cause some to say that it will be hard to stay focused. However, Franklin did this on purpose because while he wanted to create a to-do list, he primarily wished to create a routine. Now if all of this seems overwhelming, do not worry. In my freshman year for example, I was getting barely any sleep and therefore had a bad mood on most days. While some may attribute this to puberty, it was really a lack of a routine that caused all these problems. Over the summer, however, I started researching ways in which I can improve my schedule. 
not only with sleeping, but also with operating throughout the day. And the research is paying off, as I am not only getting more sleep, but I also know what to do each day and how to get that thing done. Over the summer hunting time, you may use resources such as Google Calendar, a physical calendar, a daily planner from Amazon, or even just an app from the App Store. I recommend Productive Habit. Alright, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment down below for future ideas. And don't forget to stay safe.